Hey guys, Julian Wiggum here. I'm here inside of the Ensley Center watching Syracuse football's third spring practice to give you player insights, some of the things going on in the first 10 minutes. Let's take a look inside. Oh, nothing like a good stretch in the morning. So we're looking at the defense. Easy karaoke here. But for a DB like Christopher Frederick, opening up the hip is a minor detail that goes a long way. He told me about those details after practice. As a unit, uh, we, have a, we have a saying that uh, uh, everything matters, uh, basically focusing on details. Um, I feel like we did that a lot at the beginning of the season last year. And then as the season went on and things weren't going our way, you know, people st we stopped focusing on the details. And that eventually led to you know, big plays, big offensive performances, that type of stuff. Wide receiver Devin Butler is making strides to replace All-American Steve Ishmael. And DB turned wide out Antoine Cordy is looking explosive at his new position. The transition from safety to wide out can be difficult, but Cordy's athleticism has made the change seem easy. Sophomore Nikeem Johnson has looked like the real deal early as well. He has a sudden burst and looks like a natural attacking the ball with his hands. That quarterback Tommy DeVito says he's ready to compete this year. Here he's working torque and rotation in his throwing motion. You can see how it translates to the field in his velocity. Going back to the drill, note their shoulder position. Are they pointed to the target and are they rotating 180 degrees? In this game, it's all about technique. Last, we've got running backs. On the bags, working balance, agility, and footwork. So far, Mo Neal has looked the most natural and with an experienced offensive line coming back this season, he and Dante Strickland are looking forward to a big year. For Syracuse.com, I'm Julian Wiggum.